the iPhone 4. It came out 10 years ago and was the last iPhone presented by Steve Jobs himself. When it came out, it had one of the best screens out of phones back then. While other devices were blurry, the iPhone 4 was crisp and the iPhone 4 was the first iPhone to feature a selfie camera. So how would it be to have it as your daily phone today? Since you can find these phones fairly cheap nowadays. Well, unless you just want a premium phone on which you just call, text and browse the internet, I don't recommend using the phone today. Even if you remember doing lots of stuff on your iPhone 4, things have changed. And not for the best. You can't even watch YouTube anymore. Well, you can, but only from Safari. If you download the YouTube app, it doesn't connect to YouTube services anymore. And same goes for apps we use today and consider them important or somewhat important like WhatsApp, Facebook or Instagram. You can't download games from the App Store anymore on the iPhone 4 as most of the games aren't compatible with, with the software. And most programs have retracted their services for the phone. You can download some games and some apps, but it's a pain to find something compatible with the phone. If you play many games on your phone, this device is certainly not for you. Not only that it doesn't run the newest games, but it barely runs anything nowadays. And even if you remember your phone performing well, the iPhone 4 since the iOS 7 update, the last software update for this model, runs a little sluggish. It's still ok and it works decent, but not as it used to with iOS 6. So unless you want to use it to call, send an SMS and browse something on the internet and maybe use the Maps app, you should not use the phone. You're better off with a mid-range phone, even with a really cheap phone, but one that was released recently and sucks. Even that would be a better daily phone than this one. It sucks that companies force you to switch to a newer phone. My iPhone 4 is perfectly fine, but since I can't download anything on it because my firmware is too low, I can use it as a daily phone. And I can't use the same apps that, when the phone was still young, were working on this device very fine. Not even with a compatible version of the app, the apps still don't work. Ok, now that I got the biggest issue out, let's talk about the other reasons why you shouldn't use the iPhone 4 as your daily phone today. The performance. If you look at specs, they are pretty low for today's standards. Also the phone was one of the first phones to have a glass back, but as premium as it was, glass is glass and glass cracks easily. It's not made out of more durable glass materials like today, it was a weaker glass. And this glass cracked easily when mishandled. That's how it was more common to see a cracked iPhone than a normal iPhone back in the day. I guess that's why Apple decided to switch to aluminum with the iPhone 5. So I guess that even if the design is timeless and certainly is one of the best looking phones ever made, it isn't that durable. Also the home button had some issues. Many reported their button getting stuck or stopping to click properly. My iPhone here has a similar problem. I have to press the button hard for the button to respond. The camera obviously has aged. The iPhone 4 has a 5 megapixel camera. At the time of the release this was one of the best cameras on a phone. But now you can see a big leap in technology. The camera also doesn't have software stabilizers, so the camera is wobbly. But truth is, back in the day many people were happier that their phone has a camera rather than comparing megapixels. And if you would want to use the iPhone 4 as your daily phone, you will have to be on a similar mindset. It doesn't make bad photos, it's just that compared to the newer phones, it's not that great. So in conclusion, Unless you want a premium looking phone that isn't so premium performance wise anymore and you're okay with using your phone only for stuff like calls, SMS, 
and browsing, then use it, but I wouldn't advise you. The phone is good today only for collecting purposes. It was one of the most popular phones in history. This model is a significant part of smartphone history. It was one of the most viral phones ever made. And truth is, it was really top quality when it came out. And the design still is premium to this day. But time has passed. And the phone aged. Its legacy and legend remain. But its performance, not so much. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.